So where are we going? What is what is this place called? Good question. Let's get the sails back down. All the way. Just halfway. We just want to be moving. But we're not easy setting duck. If somebody comes up on us. Right. We want to be up to up to half for cruising speed in case we run into enemies. So we're right, looking for a ship's discovery log. ridge. Yep, it's in the, it's in the thing. It's in your book. Where's discovery ridge? Is it? Ah, here we go. I have to say that I really like the immersiveness of the the quest triggers and hooks. All of them are physical documents that you can flip through and peruse. Discovery ridge is here. Okay. There's Discovery Ridge. So we need to anchor on the south side. No, that's where they started. It, it steps. It gives you instructions. Right. They see the bad pirate guy. Then, okay. Where do they go? Oh, okay. So they so they old, flee old, old, old. from uh, Discovery Ridge to the southeast. It's a large tangled right. nest of islands to the starboard. So let's. That would be Old Salt's atoll. Okay. Now heading east by southeast. They passed that. The shark bait Throw cove. the chest into the uh, waters north of a small island. Continuing east. Look up. Maybe look out Pointer Booty Isle. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful sunset. And it's gone. Damn it. <laughs> you literally emerged seconds too late. Okay, so we want to recover the chest first, and then we can follow the rest of this. Are we sure it's lookout point? No. Let me... No, so this is where they start, is Discovery yeah. Ridge, if you want to trace it. You want me to read it? Yeah, alright. Alright. Anchoring down the south side of Discovery Ridge. Captain's gone ashore. The Burning Blade! We are fleeing southeast. They are uh, turning to pursue. Passing a large tangled nest of islands to the starboard. Now heading east by southeast. So I think that's the atoll there was the mess of islands. Or possibly Sharks um, Bay Cove. Th um. A tangled nest? I think that's the atoll. I don't think that's Sharks Bay Cove, but I could be wrong. Uh, keep going. Throwing the chest into the waters north of a small isle, continuing east. Bur so they, they passed the small island and are continuing east, which makes me think that the... The chest is there on right, right. Uh, lookout, whatever. Or possibly Burning Booty Blade Isle. pursued us to a. L or possibly Booty Isle. Burning Blade pursued us to a large island, evading and turning north. He was hit. Um, and that's the only pages I got. So I guess we need the, the chest, which is on one of those aisles. So it's either Booty Isle or um, Lookout Point. Yeah. Alright. My bet is actually on Booty Isle, but Lookout Point is closer, so we'll go there first. Um, where are we right now? We are very far from any of that. Yeah. We want to. We want to be oh, making we... at least a ninety degree turn. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh, heading. Uh, go yeah, south. Do south. South. Right now. Just south. Do south. All right. Uh, there. I may need somebody up on top because I did notice a player ship around that direction so we should have somebody on lookout get up there all right I'll, okay oh well, what direction was this player ship Uh, the direction, more or less the direction we're heading. Some kind of storm ahead, but I don't see any player vessel. Well, maybe that's one. Um, uh, I'm gonna just is. propose, we're about to pass kind of close by the Fort of the Damned. We should probably not go near the Fort of the Damned. Um, the lookout point is, is a bit, um, southwest of us, I think. 
Okay, I'll get on the tiller. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. The, Chris the needs lines. to look at the the map. I'll I'm... look at the map. I'll look at the map. Everyone, calm down. Calm down. Um, it is. They are. They are slightly to the west of us. So if we want to go slightly southwest, but that puts us closer to Fort of the Damned. That's just, fine. Just saying. So south by southwest. Oh uh, yeah, south by southwest. Like, like even less okay, than cool. that. We got ghost South ships by ahead. Southwest. It's not just one of the first conventions to safely, insanely delay itself for public health reasons. It's also a direction. Sloop has emerged from the island again. They look to be heading generally in our direction. Maybe we should kill the lights. All right. We've got glowing Hold cannons. On. I gave us glowing sails. Oh. Killing light ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> well, awesome. They just killed their life. Well, I've, I've... Challenge. Oh, great. Well, that's, that's a very friendly gesture. And so they here, are here's approaching. A little, a they're they're and, matching oh, our course to intercept. They're not matching our course to intercept. They've got ghost ships that they're dealing with. Yeah. Relax. Just stay cool. Well, that ghost ship's dead Don't start now. none, won't be none. Either more ghost ships will be coming, or they're finished, and they need to grab their loot and then head home. Either way, we're fine. Uh, they just read their sail. Yeah, they're probably grabbing loot. See? I got a little secret also, which I'm going to let you guys in on, and this may... I don't know. There's always a chance that I, my hubris will be disproven by events later in these series of episodes, so stay tuned to roast me in the comments, but... I actually went ahead and I picked out the Reaper flags for a reason. You can only get these current sails we're using if you're on the top of the Reaper leaderboard in terms of like, I think like top 10% or something, top 15%. I don't exactly know what it is. Uh, so you're saying you're secretly a mass murderer? Yes, I am <laughs> saying that. And I'm also saying that Ooh, when you have these sails, us. people tend to... Just off starboard. What is that? It's, it's gone. It um, passed us. Yeah. Right. Some glowing... Loot. When you have these sails, people are less inclined to casually fuck with you. Mm. Player versus player, people know that these sails don't actually mean shit, but most players get kind of superstitious and antsy about it. Okay, I do love the idea of a pirate game where superstitions start to emerge. Oh, absolutely. Like, people, people who shit their pants over Reapers, like, if you... You will sail past the same nerd, and if you've got regular shit on... Then they'll like they'll be like oh let's let's sail over and see if we can fight them. But if you got Reaper shit, they're like oh I don't want to fight no R R Reaper. And it's the same people, like it's it's the same nerds. And if they and they're also the ones putting on Reaper shit half the time. Like ninety nine percent of the PvP players in this game are not better at at it than just randos who get into fights occasionally. It's just that they're less scared about like picking fights and then what usually happens like i'd say about 80 percent of the time we were attacked by a reaper what would happen would be that we'd immediately start out shooting them and then they'd sail away and like try to run and hide <laughs> uh player sloop is still out there but they're not heading for us their lights are back on how far are we from uh lookout point we are now at least on the same map but we are still a bit well, we are heading directly towards a big rock. We are. About that is not squares. where we want to go. About uh, how many squares One, two, are we? three, four, about four or five. Great. And the wind is absolutely 100% against us. Well, like I said, Fucking you know, just magic. point us in the direction that the wind is going opposite, and that's where we need to go. That's an oh, ominous okay. storm cloud. It's fine. Storms don't frighten me, honestly. Is there a reason like, they in real would life, ever frighten a storm you? Is like, 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 do they actually, can they destroy ships in this game? Uh, yeah, there's lightning. Uh, the, the, the bit, the, the hole will start filling up with water, and lightning can strike the mast or you and kill you even. Um, we're going to want to start going happen. south by southwest again. 
I know, I'm just we're skin around this rock. Dude, if I was going south by yeah. southwest right now, we would plow directly into this big rock. I elected not to, but I mean I I'm I'm not the captain, so hey, if you guys want to take a vote on whether we should crash into the rock, I, I mean I like the idea of like Tony Hawk pro skating up a fucking giant rock in the middle of nowhere. I, I do think speaking of which though, that that's another interesting thing. Um the pirate crews are all fundamentally de democratic, right? Yeah. Like we well, vote yeah, the I mean, that's the brig, historical. We vote to what missions we do. Like, like there's no captain. Not, there's not there's to, no like not order to on the sea. Bring scene. in actual history to this fucking like crazy silly video game, but like yeah, the pirate crews tend to uh, be okay, wait, fairly democratic. Right, both of you are, both of you are correct that pirate crews are democratic since by definition like. There's no appointed aristocratic dude who paid for his naval commission, and now you got to, like, sit around on his deck picking oakum and plotting mutiny behind his back. Like, no, if you're on a pirate crew, obviously everyone wants you to be the captain, because if they didn't want you to be the captain, they would just slit your throat and make someone else the captain. But on the other hand, there is also no captain, which historically, captains were a thing that did exist. Yeah. Is that the outpost we so, started on? Like not not this session, but like the very first session we did. Pirates. Is, hmm. is that look out Pirates. point directly so, ahead? I'll go look. Um, uh, indeed, it is. That is that is the island we are headed for. All right, so that's one um, of two possible locations where this might be. So, were pirates? I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. I would love. Did to they get? One. Did they get chartered? I mean, um, okay. some did. So what you're basically okay. I I, I would like to handle this. Sure. <clears throat> so if you're referring to pirates in the golden age of piracy, which is a period which basically encompasses the end of the 17th century and like up to around 1720. Uh, then the answer is occasionally yes. Pirates were chartered in the sense that, like, a person would sign up with a privateering crew, they would accept a commission, get letters of mark, uh, they would have investors back on shore, and they would give a percentage of the things they took by uh, taking prizes or by blasting the shit out of ports, and, like, that that's kind of an official arrangement they have. Actually, up until, like, I think the 19th century... Like, surprisingly into it, like, if you were a regular-ass captain in the actual Navy, you would get a chunk of prizes taken in warfare. But, the thing is, then those wars would end, and people who were privateers would often kind of end up turning pirate, and at that point, like, no. You don't, reasonably, you don't have investors, you don't have a commission, you don't have a charter, like, you're just some guys who so are who owns to the boat? stick people up. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Whoever stole it, uh, or the investors own the boat, if it is, in fact, a commissioned privateer. But, yeah, like, no, the, the boat is just a piece of communal property, which is put towards the purpose of turning the users of the boat into a, pro into a profit. It's, it's essentially a socialist, uh, socialist arrangement. I see and something that, that means, might... Leaves the boat. Might be it, or it might be nothing. It's a bottle. Uh, no, that's not a chest. Uh, so, they they said that it would be um, on the north side of this island, didn't they? Let's... Oh, hang on, I have... Uh... Oh, no, that's, that's the thing I picked up. Okay. Um... Uh... Throwing the chest into the waters north of a small isle. Well, I didn't see anything on, in the uh, the crow's nest that would indicate a chest to the north of this island, so I think we might want to move on to the other one. Is Rutscon bombarding this island? I'm just shooting sea islands. You can't stop me from shooting sea islands, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't give you, a fuck. You are the skeleton exploder. Oh, here's a captain. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put that it, on. That skeleton just ate a banana. Ow, oh, fuck. Uh... 
No, stop that. Hey Josh, um, if you can at all manage it, do not die. I'm fine right now. Don't have time. Don't have time for it. What's the button to drop this? What's the button to drop? Is it X? It's yeah, X. X is drop stuff. Alright, here we go. Hey! Hey, you found it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Where was it? You fucking found it. <laughs> it was in the water where they dumped it. In the water north of the island. <laughs> well, <laughs> I found Robo. It was exactly where... I just, uh, some of the viewers may be curious around this point and already typing their question in, so let me just let me just stop you there. Yeah, I was absolutely prepared to just sail away. 100%. <laughs> I would not have hesitated. No, no, damn it. Can you back the rowboat up? You mean if Josh uh, was still know. on the island, or... Yeah. Or if, yeah, exactly. if we didn't find the thing? If you didn't find it. Uh, Josh, you've got 20, 19... 18. Just just go ahead and 16 and 15, uh 14 13. Yeah, go 12, ahead and just go and 11, I will try to catch on 10, as you pass me. It, nine, he's going to blow you up. Eight, he's going to blow you seven, up. 6 <laughs> right. 5 4 3 2 You have chosen correctly. <laughs> All right, so... All right, uh, so what's what's in our little book? Uh, Are these islands? <laughs> what? Good question. Nah. All right, let's find the Mitten Island. The Mitten Island next to the... This looks familiar. Here it is, Crooks Hollow. Found We've it. We've been there before for a different thing. I think this is the the one where with everything bad, as opposed to the islands with everything good <laughs> on them. Well, with all the pits and tra are you really doing this, Redskarn? <laughs> God damn it! What? <laughs> well, you were gonna blow it up ten minutes ago. <laughs> I just don't like watching. I don't. Still, I want to spare the viewers the experience of additional moments of footage of Josh fruitlessly pedaling a rowboat through the ocean. I would ocean. have been able to get it on the ship if you had just driven past me very slowly, like I'd said. All right, uh, anchor. Uh, Chris, Come why on. don't you um, get the heading for the next place? All right. It looks like boiled sweets on top of the wheel. Uh, it's northeast, or yeah, it's northeast. Just straight up northeast. That's I wasn't lying. Away. <laughs> Cave scarab hides near the island's tears. Maybe a waterfall? Looks like we might actually get a fucking sniff of a wind at this point, so get on the lines. Nice. Hey, our ship can actually go places, Booty Isle. Yeah, fuck yeah, forget this quest. Hmm. I wonder what the significance of the rest of this log is that they evaded and turned north. Oh, damn it, the wheel uh, went zeroed. What? Yeah, we're, we're turning away from the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wheel, the wheel was not zeroed. Yeah, we're, uh... 
heading northeast right now, or northwest right now instead of northeast. Although actually, this is the direction that they'd be going if, you know, if we were following them. So I guess maybe they made it. Although we got the chest that they left, so they'd already been there. Oh no, no, this was the no, right? Uh, this is where they they needed to go. To. Um, all, right. all right, this should be on course. So as far as like the puzzles and riddles uh, on these tall tales go, this this one is simpler. It's a little more like straightforward, mm -hmm. a little bit less arguing with your crew. All right, we've done a lot, and yeah, we've done some of that, an amount. Right, but like you know, it it there's an amusing kind of snit you can get into when who is correct and who is incorrect means about 20 minutes of sailing. <laughs> All right, looks like we're on course. Is that it right out in front of us? Hey, Josh. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Josh, why don't you try some more fishing? Uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. He's going to summon the Kraken. <laughs> I mean, hey, I've been <laughs> wanting to encounter just, the Kraken. Just... It is actually, can I just say that it is completely preposterous that we have not gotten the Kraken or a Megalodon yet? I'm really salty about it. If it were possible to actually summon, like, a Megalodon, I would be doing it right now. Are you saying that you are summoning a Megalodon right now? <laughs> no. I, it is not possible, <laughs> unfortunately. As anyone who's hunt the white Megalodon has learn to their cost, and the, by cost I mean 15 minutes of dicking around. Might want to make a small adjustment to port. Aye, aye. Uh, oh, okay. that's the island right there? Yeah, I believe that's the island right there. How's it going, Josh? Walk us through your process. Um, I am currently tiring out the fish again after having tired it out the first time and reeled it in some. It's a oh, lot easier goodness. to do this with I missed explosive barrels. This fish is fucking going like 80 knots right now <laughs> ahead of us. Hey, I got it. Hey, great job. How do, I, right how do I get it off my line? Nope. Uh, uh, I think I just threw it. Did you get it off your line? <laughs> I think I just threw it. Fuck. So you don't have it? Well, I accidentally Hit cast three. again. Um, we probably better start reefing the sails here. Yeah, I do not have it. Nice. At least that saves us the embarrassment of you failing to hit properly. Go ahead and reap the foresail too. All right, if you say so. Yeah, we're we're coming up on where we wanna park this baby. All right, gentlemen, lead the way. A little busy right now. Okay, wait, hang on. Josh, all right, you, you got it? Uh, I wait, mean, okay. Oh, oh, oh you, you're getting close. You're getting close. Nice. God damn it. <laughs>